See, I, I don't have many friends in that practice because I, I don't, I won't do it. I, it didn't take me, but uh, a handful of months. See, I left the corporate position uh, to come into personal finance. When I see for the first time how the the lead generation, on top of that, the the process of calling so many people and the practice they do, I just couldn't do it. Uh, which is why I stepped out uh, or really stepped aside and started building a software that would do this legitimately, ethically. And mm-hmm. would you believe that the majority of these lead vendors, I say majority, all of them that I've experienced, I'm not going to say all, but uh, they won't provide the marketing to you. They won't show you what ads they run. Go watch the video that I published. You'll, you'll appreciate it. They right. won't show you the last. And that's and to me, that's the, the first red flag. In fact, I had two of them. As part of this video, I think you'd appreciate it. Part of this video, I, I called two of them, uh, major lead vendors, or at least the ones that are in the circle. I ordered uh, the fresh exclusive lead, and I said, okay, before you can launch the campaign, send me a copy. Send me a copy of the ads so I can prepare. As an agent, I would want to know that information. It's good for the script going to call this person, you know, whatever final yeah, service yeah. they need. I know how they got to me, right? And I know I even the lead form, how many copies of the lead form. Rather than do that, they refunded my money and said they wouldn't service me. <laughs> and this happened a number of times. I, the more I think about it, I'm going to send this video to you directly because it, it's all of it. And, and when we dug out the actual ad, because one of them did provide me with an ad, after I refused to do business with them anymore, um, <laughs> they sent me an ad, but it I ended up uncovering the real ad. So they sent me a fake one to get me to shut up, and it didn't. Work. You, I, you'll appreciate the video. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna link it. You 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 especially of all. Yeah, I mean it's it. terrible the things that go on out there, like the creative. So I tell all my clients, like, look, you're a lead buyer. Um, you know, you've got to be responsible to understand who you're buying from, and it, that counts. You know, to look at the URLs. Uh, and go all the way down to the creatives. I mean, if it's a social media campaign, if it's you know a, an inbound campaign um, that you're paying for, you got to look at these creatives. You got to know what they're promising. And you've got a great point, right? It's not just for compliance purposes, although compliance purposes certainly matter. But how are you going to sell if you don't know what the <laughs> consumer's experience with the journey has exactly. been, right? You know, they're they're looking at one thing that's kind of promising one thing, and then they come to you and you're talking about something totally different. They're like, no, no, dude, I'm here to, to hear about X, and you're talking about W. Thank you. Know, you. Thank the you. Yep. And the, the trigger leads as well, where somebody will fill out a form and it might be in some way related to another product or service. So they'll repurpose and sell that lead as another. Uh, it, it gets worse, too, when you look at and I've been documenting this uh, for the last three or four months. And I'm going to publish a video on this expose as well, where I've got copies of these YouTube ads that are playing. It's about the the sixty four hundred dollars subsidy that they're offering. The lead ends up being sold to life insurance agents and and, and health insurance agents. Uh, but you know the purpose of the phone call is to get you know, or the purpose of filling out the form is to have the expectation of that government subsidy that doesn't even exist. So I'm I'm putting that together. A little teaser. I'm putting one together for that as well. I'm going to publish well, the and videos. That's, and and that's them. actually another big change that we should talk about that I haven't mentioned yet, which is the uh, logically yeah. and topically related rule. So the commission's put out a bunch of rules. We've only talked about really one. Um, And the logically and topically related rule uh, now requires that whatever the consent was, that whatever the transaction was that that the consumer was interested in hearing about, the calls have to be limited to things that are logically and topically related to that content. So if you're not looking at the content, how can you possibly know if your calls are going to be logically and topically related to it? Agreed. It's a really big deal for lead buyers now because not just right is it a one to one rule. It's also a logical and topical consent scope rule that you need to be keeping in mind as well. Yeah. So, so I was right. The lead, the the lead vendors not handing out the marketing and disallowing you to even view their marketing content. Big red flag. You've just watched a segment of our interview with attorney Eric Troutman. We'll put another segment of this interview right over here. Really encourage that you watch this entire interview. We'll put that video right here. See you guys next time.